Support comes from the Missouri Forest Products Association, providing more than 41,000 jobs in the production of wood pallets, railroad ties, white oak barrels, hardwood floors, and more. Details at choosewood.com. From St. Louis Public Radio. This is St. Louis on the Air. Welcome to St. Louis on the Air. I'm Jonathan All. The state of Missouri executed Kevin Johnson last night. He died by lethal injection at 7.40 p.m. at the state prison in Bon Terre after the Missouri Supreme Court ruled 5-2 to two Monday against a last-minute attempt to stay the execution. Johnson was convicted of murdering Kirkwood police officer William McKenty in 2005. Johnson's lawyers did not dispute their client's guilt, but rather contended racism played a role in prosecutors seeking the death penalty. Riverfront Times staff writer Monica Obradovic spoke with Johnson earlier this fall in what was the only interview he ever gave to a journalist. Monica was also at the state prison in Bon Terre yesterday evening and joins us now. Monica, welcome back to St. Louis on the Air. Hi, thanks for having me. How are you feeling and what was it like being there last night? Um, well, there's no really beating around the bush here. It was, uh, quite frankly, very heartbreaking. Um, a, lo- a lot of demonstrators had gathered outside of the prison in Bon Terre uh, to voice their support for Kevin. Uh, whether they had known him personally or not, um, there were about 125 people there, all of them in support of Kevin, uh, except one who was in support of his execution. Um, I wasn't in the room at the time of his execution, um, but just from talking to people who knew him, um, seeing his family in that crowd, um, the uh, the sorrow was rather palpable. I, I think it's important to step back a little bit and make sure that we acknowledge that Kevin Johnson killed a police officer, and that that death was also very brutal and sad. Can you maybe just go back a little bit through a, a couple of the circumstances that led to that incident in 2005? Oh, yeah. So at the time of July 5th, 2005, uh, Kevin was on probation for a, uh, a misdemeanor assault charge. And um, some police were lingering outside of his great-grandmother's house where he lived. And um, he worried that they were going to uh, tow his car. They were lingering around his car. Um, so he, uh, he motioned to his, um, his younger brother, Bam Bam, who was 12, uh, to go take his keys to his grandmother's house across, across, the, across the street. Um, and um, say, uh, go give Grandma Pat these keys, make it seem like she's going to drive this car. Um, and she did. And um, while she was dangling the keys on her porch, uh, Bam Bam had collapsed inside of uh, his grandmother's house. And um, uh, he had a seizure. And he was, um, Bam Bam was born addicted to crack. And he had lived with a congenital heart defect. Um, but he, he had died um, later that night, or at least his death was pronounced later that night. Um, and, uh, McAtee wasn't on the scene, uh, the, the sergeant who Kevin had killed. Um, he didn't arrive until a few minutes after he arrived with an ambulance. And even, even though Kevin would, um, later admit that McAtee really, when, when you look at the situation, didn't have anything to do with his younger brother, Bam Bam's death. Um, at the time, Kevin had, had blamed him. And so when uh, Kevin ran into McEntee again a couple hours later, this was around 7.30 on the same day, um, he, um, he said, you killed my brother, um, shot McEntee um, multiple times in his upper torso and head. And uh, when McEntee sped away, Kevin saw him again and then delivered the fatal blow. Um, altogether, McEntee had been shot around seven times and um it, it, yeah it was it was a bru- a very brutal crime um uh, it it just shook the St. Louis area when it happened um but um yeah Kevin has stated his remorse he um again he 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 doesn't know why at this point why he had shot Magnity but um but he paid paid the price for his crime yesterday your reporting um revealed a lot about disparities in sentencing uh, with the county prosecutor, Bob McCullough. Um, so is the, 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 the issue here whether 
Kevin Johnson was given the death penalty because of his actions or because he was black? Yeah, yeah, I would say that's the main point of contention here. Um, a lot of people who support Kevin point to uh, Trenton Forster's case. He's the, um, I, I believe he was 18 at the time he had killed Officer Blake Snyder in St. Louis County in um, 2016. And um, Trenton had on social media voice that he uh, intended to harm police officers. And whether that was serious or, or not, we don't know. But uh, he did, in fact, kill Blake Snyder later. Um, but uh, people point to, to his case because, um, depending on who you ask, Kevin had no premeditation to, to murder McEntee. So they, went, they wonder why uh, Kevin, who um, you know was very emotional at the time of his crime, uh, received the death penalty while um, Trenton Forrester, who had stated that he wanted to harm officers, uh, did not. And adding to this is in 2012, uh, the Supreme Court issued a decision requiring states to rethink how they handle youthful offenders. Um, and since then, Missouri has only executed one person for a crime committed as a teen. Um, I guess now that's two. Yes, yeah. And um, that, that Supreme Court ruling, that required states to take into account, you know, um, the human brain doesn't fully develop until around age 25 or 26. And uh, Kevin was 19 when he murdered Sergeant McEntee. And, um, you know, he's still legally an, an adult under Missouri law. Um, but still, when you couple his, his young age and um, the fact that he was born with a um, frontal lobe impairment. He, uh, he played football in college and had suffered multiple um, concussions. He, he, he really, um, trying to think of the way my, my sources have worded this, he, 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 he just didn't have the capacity to put on the brakes when he was uh, reeling from the death of his younger brother. It, it seems like this is an incredibly complex situation because while we have a, a cold, a cold-blooded murder of a police officer, we also have someone who may have gotten the death penalty because of the color of their skin. Someone who may have gotten a, the death penalty for a crime they committed as a teen, even though the Supreme Court advised to seriously look at that. We have the tragedies that Kevin Johnson dealt with in his whole life. How do you? How does one? Well, how do you make sense of all of that and come to some kind of resting point today after the execution has been carried out as to what do we learn from this and how do we move forward? You know, that that's a great question. I don't know if there really is a way um, to make sense of this. I, I guess um, you, you, you can take comfort in the fact that it seems that the, the McEntee family um, gets some kind of closure now that... Um, their, their loved one's murderer has been put to death. Um, but really, uh, people were not expecting this to happen 100%. I, uh, people were very hopeful after uh, this hearing on, on Monday uh, on whether to delay Kevin's execution. They were, they were hopeful that the Missouri Supreme Court um, would side with this special prosecutor who investigated Kevin's case and um, decide to... Uh, either cancel Kevin's execution or just uh, postpone it for another date so the special prosecutor's claims could be heard in court. And um, most people thought that this special prosecutor had laid out solid arguments, but um, nevertheless, the, the Supreme Court had ruled uh, they were not going to delay uh, Kevin's execution. Bob McCullough was present last night, wasn't he? Yes, he was. And, and Kevin Johnson's daughter was not allowed to be there. No, she, uh, she's too young. Uh, Missouri law only allows uh, people 21 years or older to witness execution, and, she, and she's 19. This seems like it just adds to the tragedy that that was the case. Um, what, what can you tell us about Kevin's last moments and some of the reaction of the people who were there? Sure, yeah. So um, I spoke with uh, Jim Salter after the execution. He's a, uh, he's a great reporter with the Associated Press, and he was in the room at the time of uh, Kevin's execution. Uh, he said it, it went smoothly. Um, Reverend Daryl Gray was there. He's a 
local uh, pastor and uh, activist in St. Louis, and he was Kevin's spirit, spiritual advisor. Um, Jim told me that uh, Reverend Gray had read him some Bible verses, and he was next to Kevin's cot, comforting him the whole time. Uh, the lethal injection was administered to Kevin at 11.29, and he died about 11 minutes after that. Um, I, I don't think Kevin said anything. He may have said a few words to Reverend Gray, um, but he also issued no official statement through the Missouri Department of Corrections. And um, like we said earlier, Corey, Corey Ramey, uh, Kevin's daughter, was not in the room, but she was outside the prison at the time. And when I saw her, she, um, I don't know, I, I, I hesitate to say that she seemed okay, but, um, you know, she's had a lot of time to prepare for this. And I think through all of this, at the very least, she's just garnered this huge support system of people she's met through through Kevin. And um, I don't know, at least there's that. And uh, Mary McKenty um, made some comments and she hasn't spoken publicly about her husband's death before? No, as far as I know, she has never spoken to um, reporters about about any of this situation, even back in 2005. Um, but when she um, she had witnessed the execution and when she she came out to talk reporters, she seemed uh, very calm, uh, very collected. I um, she d- she didn't say this, but I I expect that she she felt like this was just the final um, word in this long, excruciating chapter in her life. I mean, this was 17 years coming for her. I mean, she and her children. I can't imagine what they've had to live through these past 17 years and. Um, it, it, from her words, it sounded like she thought justice had uh, finally been served. Briefly, do you, is this, seems, this case seems to be much more than just about whether you agree that the death penalty is appropriate or not, but looking at a system that m- may have some very serious flaws. Is that accurate? Um, yeah, I, I would say that is accurate, and that, that seems to be a universal opinion for people who were against Kevin's execution Um, But I think it's worth pointing out, um, a lot of people believe that Missouri's systems, judicial or what have you, have never really worked in favor of black and brown residents. So maybe in the worst way, this wasn't really a surprise for them. But um, a lot had happened just so last minute. And maybe if the ball had been rolling before uh, the final two weeks before Kevin's execution, maybe we would have had a different outcome. Riverfront Times writer Monica Obradovic, thank you for joining us today. Support for Monica's reporting about Kevin Johnson has come from the River City Journalism Fund, a nonprofit that is addressing news coverage of historically marginalized communities. Today's episode was produced by Alex Hoyer, with audio engineering and podcast design by Aaron Dorr. Our production intern is Avery Rogers. Our executive producer is Alex. St. Louis on the Air is a production of St. Louis Public Radio. Understanding starts here. Our podcast proudly supports St. Louis artists by using music from Life Creative Group. Your producer is Alex Hoyer. Listening to episodes of St. Louis on the Air, suggest us to a friend you think might enjoy our conversations. And leave us a review and rating on Apple Podcasts on the App Store. It's the simplest way to help people discover our show. Thank you. St. Louis Public Radio is a member-supported service of the University of Missouri-St. Louis. Support comes from the Missouri Forest Products Association, providing more than 41,000 jobs in the production of wood pallets, railroad ties, white oak barrels, hardwood floors, and more. Details at choosewood.com.